Guys, welcome back to a new video, and today we're talking about Jacqueline Hill and Hemoldy lipsticks. But before we get into it, subscribe and leave a like on my channel. Anyway, because I want to hit 100 subscribers by the end of the month, um, so hopefully we can do that. But I don't really like to talk about the YouTube scene, the YouTube drama, what's going on. Uh, but I really want to rep I like wait. I want to report on the YouTube scene, uh, like you know what's going on and not what a lot of people are talking about, which they should be talking about. And this is the first story I want to cover: is Jacqueline Hill refuses uh, accusations that her new brand is vending moldy lipsticks. Anyway, OG beauty blogger Jacqueline has has her own beauty line in the works for years. After several of her product collaborations, including Becca and uh, Eyeshadow Palette, went on to become a pop buster seller. All that means is just um, a very big seller in the world, uh, like uh, anywhere that you can see, it's a big seller. But her first product releases from Jack from Hills, Jacqueline's a range of 20 nude lipsticks was the best. Like, it was the best um, thing selling for her. So, yeah. Which is very good. Uh, social media. On the YouTube views that her lipsticks has arrived with black holes, hairy fuzz and gritty texture. Given that Hill has been teasing the line far back to 2015. Speculation has been run part that she has manufactured lipsticks many years prior. And that had to be ex expired while she wait, awaited an optional launch date last month which would probably mean that uh, she probably took the lipsticks and all the eyeshadow and that from 2015 which is probably not good for her but she's been selling them from 2015 which oh, I don't think is probably true but obviously it could be true that she don't want to waste money, don't want to spend money so that's why she could be saving them from 2015 releasing them now um, which obviously could mean that and this is the lipsticks I, I'm going to show you a, a minute of the video hey guys welcome back to my channel for today's video I don't even need to give you an intro you know why we are here I want to address some of the issues that my customers are having with my first launch of my brand John Cosmetics and my lipsticks first and foremost I want to let you guys know the bases that I'm gonna be covering throughout this video I want to talk about the melting issue I want to talk about the white fuzzies I want to talk about the black holes and I want to talk about the grittiness and the texture that you guys are experiencing and give you informed details of what all of these issues are, what is causing them, and how they're going to be fixed. I just want to put that out there before even jumping in to the actual video so that you guys know that I'm not going to run away from this. And I know it's taken me a couple days to get all my ducks in a row and get this video out for you guys, but I've been going through all the documentation on the phone with labs and chemists and the owner of my lab and my entire team for several days and doing a very in-depth investigation to figure out exactly what's going on so that I can give you the most informed information as a brand owner. The first thing that I want to address before anything else is the accusations that my lipsticks are expired, moldy, or hazardous in any way, shape, or form. I'm going to put up documents throughout this entire video so you guys can see the actual proof because I'm not going to sit here and like read papers to you guys. I'm going to put it right there on the screen so you can see proof. So number one, let's start with the expired accusation. My lipsticks did not go into mass production until the same month. Yeah, so if you want to watch the video, I just Go to the channel, it'll be there. But this is what she has said. She said, my lipsticks are not mouldy. They are not hazardous. They are not contaminated. She continued, they are not unsafe for any shape or form. Not single uh, ingredient in my lipstick is not, and it is not, and it is FDA improved, which means it's probably improved by a big, so by beauty and things like that, which before you put them out, which is, yeah. And yeah, if you run through the rest of the statement, it'll be down there, everything like that. So yeah, that is the statement. I don't think she is, but obviously, that's just my opinion. And yeah, subscribe, leave a like on my channel. 100 subscribers by the end of the thing, please. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.